So in our last lunch meeting, you were working on the phono stage for Stellar, and you had an idea for the circuit, so you modeled it up in a computer on a program called Spice, and you tested your circuit, and you tweaked it to get it exactly the way you wanted. Then you built it, and a physical copy of it, did a little more tweaking on it, to where you were happy, distortion is down to 130 dB, minus 130 dB, um, good slew rate, high bandwidth, everything's looking cool. Then you go up to the listening room and take it from there, Derek. Yeah, and I, so I, um, so I took it up to the listening room. I had another design that I, that I designed, which was a, um, a reference uh, uh, integrated op amp design um, as well. So using extremely uh, high end op amps, uh, implemented very well, um, and using very nice components too. So I, I actually compared the two uh, there, and the discrete design beat the the, the integrated circuit design. Uh, I wanted to make sure at least I was there, um, and so then I I spent more time with it. I mean, I you know when I when I listen to a component, it's not just ten minutes. It's it's um, I'm going to sit on it at night when I listen to records and I listen to music. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to spend a lot of time listening to that component, see how it how it um, how I feel about it over a period of time. Am I reaching for more records? Am I excited to hear this and that and this? Or am I reaching for the, the audiophile records? Am I, am I reaching for the good recordings that are a wow and I'm so obsessed about my system? Or am I dancing around um, and, and you know my friends are, are you know, or tapping their feet, and and I see re physical responses from people too. You know, so I, I'm into musicality, and that's what we that's what we define as musicality. Something that that really allows you to it communicates music. It doesn't communicate a hi-fi system that sounds sterile and only the best recordings sound good on it. That's cool, you know. That's that's great. But I'm I'm into the music. I'm a music fan, so I I want to I want to make stuff that really communicates music. And uh, I think that's where a lot of this stuff is actually being lost. Um, there, 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 there is a uh, there. There are people who want to just minimize all distortions, and a lot of times that stuff it does translate audibly to a more revealing system. But it might be actually too revealing to the point where good music actually doesn't sound good on it because <laughs> yeah. good music isn't recorded in audiophile sense. Yep. Yep. Um, so. And, and I, just, to, just to interrupt for one quick, when you first started contacting me mm -hmm. um, years ago, you worked at another company that shall go unnamed, mm -hmm. a very famous company, and you said, you know, PS Audio, just, you guys get it. You want to make stuff that makes me get up and dance, and that's yeah, why exactly. I want to come that's what I'm you guys. Yeah. I'm into the fun, man. Yeah. You know, I respect the designers out there uh, pushing the bar in the way that, you know, I tried to do on the SPP. Um, of, of you know introducing components with minimal distortion I respect it so much it's it's hard yeah. and and it's something that needs to be done I'm not I'm not against the idea it's just not me and and in the end when I put out a component I want something that I, I want to dance to I just don't I, I don't want something that that um, that's gonna analyze the music so Maybe my stuff's not meant for mastering studios. <laughs> maybe not, you know, I, I, maybe not. I can design stuff for mastering studios, which is what we're about to do. Uh -huh. That's another topic. Yeah. But, um, but, if, but it ain't, and if, it, if it ain't musical, you know we don't but want I it. Think, yeah, I think PS Audio is about something that, you know, like it communicates music yeah. and it makes, it makes you, you uh, want to share music with other people exactly. and people who are non-audiophiles you know, get the feeling of, oh, like, now I understand why you, you guys are into this. You know, I, I love bringing new friends. Actually, just recently, I had uh, one of my uh, really great friends uh, who works at a large tech company in, in uh, California, he, he actually um, uh, uh, set me up with a, with a guy that just moved here from California. Okay. And he said, you guys need to hang out because you guys love music. And, and you're gonna have a great time together. So he came over there other night and uh, he had never heard a really nice system in his life. 
And so, you know, I- Which I, is true of most people. He, he sat uh, on the side of my couch, you know, on the side, the right side of the chair. And I said, no, 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 no. You get the center. Okay, that's that's the etiquette of a hi-fi system. Is yeah. that you, you get the best seat in the in the house, and uh, and he was he was blown away and and just moving and his body his body was just grooving with the music. You know, we we listened to probably five hours of music and he just wanted to hear. Oh, can I put this on? I wonder what this is going to sound like. I wonder what this sounds like. Yeah. You know, and he was just so into it. That's what I'm after. Yeah. Okay, it's not it's not the it's not necessarily that it's going to measure the best or whatever. It's I'm thinking more so fun and enjoyment and life's short. Yep. Um, so, so anyways, I have this great sounding preamp and, or uh, I'm sorry, it, it was great. It was great sounding, but great measuring. That's what I meant to say. Yep. And it was great sounding. It, it didn't suck. It was even better than the op amps, which good op amps are, they're good. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they're not bad. I just want something better. <laughs> um, so, so then I started to uh, go back to the drawing board and understand. I went back to the simulator and said, well, well what weren't you happy? You, you, it, it just wasn't moving you the way you wanted. Because I remember mm -hmm. when you played it for me, I, I think both of us felt that the, the, the music was sort of stuck in the speakers a little bit. It wasn't yeah, it wasn't released open. from the speakers. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't exactly open. I find a lot of the op amp uh, phono stages, and I have it's uh, you know I'm not ignorant to them. I have I have other brands of, of op amp based phono stages, and they, they kind of do the same the same thing. Um, you know, it's it's good sounding, but it's not when you compare it with something you know better on another caliber. You understand why that's better. It's it's it escapes from the speakers. It's you get a 3D experience. The tonality is better. The separation is better. The ability to separate between the pops and the surface noise and the actual music itself is better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Well, now we've gotten to where we're exceeding our time again. Okay. Well, so we well, got will have to be part. This will have to be part three. Next next time. Next time All right. we're getting there. We're right. getting at least. But yeah, this is great. Never mind. <laughs> <All> <laughs> Thank right. you. All right. See you guys. Okay.